Okay, y'all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Kiwana Creates. Another day of elevating, inspiring, and creating. That is my mission here on this earth. Is to what, y'all? To elevate, to inspire, and create. To use the creative gifts that God has placed deep down inside of me to help you. 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 Yes, you. I'm pointing at you. Walk out your destiny. Look. I know you're like, Kawana, what in the ham sandwich is you doing? Look, I'm sitting on my front porch, right? And I have, I brung from in my house, because this is my baby, y'all. Y'all see my baby right here? This is my aloe vera plant. Y'all see how big this baby have grown? Now, when I bought this baby, it was small. My aloe vera plant was small. I think I've done a video, actually, where I was talking about my aloe vera plant, and I was saying I needed to replant it. And so it's time for me to replant it again, y'all. I mean, because this pot that is in, uh, it's it's not big enough for it because it's, it's just growing. I was looking at it this morning and how it was just reaching out of the window and it was stretching. It's just stretching. <laughs> so my aloe vera plant, this is a plant that my aunt gave me. That's been doing pretty good. Um, and then there's another plant that, as you can see it's dead right now the winter came and tried to choke the life out of it right and so the topic of for today the topic for today is is life okay life l-i-f-e life life now this plant if it wasn't dead right now y'all would see the you would you would you would get to see what it looked like okay and eventually over the summertime it's going to begin to sprout back up because i'm sure deep within the in the in the um deep within the soil it's starting to it's getting ready it's getting ready it's going through a process good god almighty it's going through a process and eventually it's you it's going to begin to peep through right so what i need to do is i need to get rid of all these dead leaves i need to get rid of all these little dead leaves i'm gonna throw the dead leaves out there ain't gonna hurt nobody throw all the dead leaves out now this is uh, this plant right here is called a purple heart purple heart y'all i love it um back in the day at my house i used to i had per planted purple hearts i went to this nursery and a lady i you know i saw it and i was like man i like that and she was telling me it was a purple heart so i i bought i think i planted the seeds or either bought i don't know what i did all i know is i had purple hearts y'all just it they just spread all in the bed didn't even know i had a little green thumb so purple hearts i want i'm matter of fact in the video you you will i'm gonna uh, make sure i upload a picture of what a purple heart looked like if you don't know what it looked like so back to my story in here was purple hearts i just cleaned up all the dead um leaves right that tried to choke the life out of it over the winter time eventually spring is spring is head and we we about to hit spring soon spring is coming and what happens during the springtime you start to see you start to see plants um uh developing on and uh well they're already developing in the ground they're going through the process but eventually you start to see the flowers the flowers start blooming right we start finding flowers everywhere blooming there, blooming in the grass, blooming in people's yards, blooming, blooming, blooming. Flowers, the trees, the trees that are dead everywhere. They what? Now, this is not a real, real tree, but what I did, I went and pulled all the, um, the twigs off of a tree for a project that I was working on, right? And I, these were the, this was the rest of the twigs that was left from the project. So for some odd reason, instead of me throwing them away, I just threw them in this little vase. I think I'm what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eventually spray paint them, but that's not even the more of the story. Let's 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 stick with the program. Uh oh, let's stick with the program. Let me tell you why I'm talking about life and death right now. So I just cleaned all the what, all the dead leaves out of the purple hearts, uh, pl the plant that that's a purple heart. I, you know, I have these dead leaves from a from a twig that was on twigs that were on a tree in the city, and this right here, this is a plant. I, now, don't get me lying to you because I don't know the name of this plant. I'm gonna have to ask my aunt. But 
she gave me a piece of it well not a piece she gave me quite a bit and she said come on and go home and put it in some water and let it grow and i had it sitting in the window right and look at all the life look at all look at y'all look 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 at all the life that this was not none of this was down here y'all it was just literally these branches these th this right here not branches it was just this plant this is this is all that i had when she first gave it to me and it seemed like it's even grown okay so look at all the life that has started to blossom from this plant I mean, it's like branching off. It's like colonies. Life. Look at all this life. So I was taking off all the dead yellow leaves, right? All the dead yellow leaves that was on it. Because I was looking at it. I was like, oh, Lord, I ain't taking care of my baby. So what I decided to do was what? Peel, peel off all the yellow dead leaves. All the yellow dead leaves. It was more than this. They probably in the house somewhere. But I wanted to bring a little bit out because I wanted y'all to see it. Because life and death are two what? They're two different things. You know, God give us what? He gives us life, you know? And eventually one day we're going to what? We're all going to die one day. But while we are living, we need to be doing what? We need to be living life to the fullest. We need to be making sure that we are giving off life to people, right? We need to make sure that when people meet us, that they receive life from us. We need to make sure that what we have what coming out of our mouth? Life, life and death is in the what? The power of your tongue. What are you speaking over your life today? Are you speaking life? Are you speaking words of encouragement? Are you speaking words of wisdom? Are you speaking truth? Are you speaking joy? Are you speaking um, things that, 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 excuse me, that, um, develop self-control within you or are you speaking death huh what are you or what are you doing are you speaking words that bring about depression in your life what what are you thinking about you know what what are you thinking about it's so important that we choose to what we think on things that are what good such as life noble just pure lovely admirable things that are praiseworthy, things that edify and build the who? The Lord up. Look, I need you all to start speaking life. 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 Life is always forming around us, y'all. In any and everything, you just have to look and see. You have to search out life. But life is all around us. You're saying, Kawana, well, I don't know about you, but I feel dead. No, 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 no. Look, I speak life over you, my brother, right now at this moment. I speak life over you right now, my sister, right at this moment. Life in what? Death is in the power of your tongue. Stop speaking death over your life. Start speaking life and you watch what comes to you watch what comes to you it's so important that we as a people speak life if you want your life to change what do you need to do you need to speak life you need to open your mouth and say daddy 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 i need you to come in and and disperse out all this darkness in my heart daddy daddy i, I humble myself right now because i know that my life is absolutely positively nothing without you. I need your life, Lord God. Where things look dead right now, Lord God, like these branches right here, like that grass that we're, we're looking at on the ground right now. Things are may look dead in your life, but do you know that God wants to bring about life in those areas? He wants to disperse out all the darkness and he wants life to be in your life forevermore. I'm gonna give you a verse, John 10 and 10. It reads, this is, I'm gonna read the NIV and then I'm gonna read the King James Version. It says, the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. That's what the NIV says. 
King James Version. King James Version says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to, and to what? Destroy. And I am come. That's Jesus. He says that they may have what? Life. Life. Come on now. And that they might have it what? More abundantly. Look at this. Look at all this life more abundantly in this one plant, right? This one. And all these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 then this is another one this is another one 12 oh and here's another one 13 and th there's another one 14 look at this all these stems right right yeah I, it's about seven seven stems 12 stems excuse me whatever and then on these stems what's growing more life look at look at all this life excuse my nails y'all i had my nails in the dirt look at all the life look at all the life that's happening on this plant that's going to grow into more colonies i'm just calling it colonies for right now more life more life look 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 at all this life i wish I, I would love to take it out so that you could see all the life inside this glass vase right here look at all the life y'all look at all the life this is this is what god want to do in you he wants to give you what life and life more what abundantly the enemy comes to what the enemy tried to come what to kill steal and destroy he tried to come steal kill and destroy he was trying to choke out the life of this plant right with all this these yellow leaves that could have turned brown and 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 it could have spread throughout the whole plant but he 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 made me what aware he opened my eyes to look at my plant to see what was going on with it and said, Kawana, it's time for you to take care of your baby. It's time to you to for you to prune it. It's time for you to, to uh, do some what? Give it some TLC. Hello, I need you to give it some TLC. Hey, in order to keep your life moving about, in order for you to be all that you are created to be, you have to what? You have to be consistent with make sure that you, to make sure that you're taking care of the daily needs of your life so let's let's bring it on in what's what are the daily needs that you need my sister or my brother in your life in order to live life more abundantly well you know what i know what it is let me tell you let me go on and break it down what you need you need what you need the word of god you need prayer you need a relationship with the lord you got to surrender your will to see his will done okay you want to know why you have you 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 you're like you're straddling the fence right now it's because you your body your spirit man is 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 what malnutrition it's full of malnutrition it's 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 lacking the nutrition it needs in order to live okay we we eat daily we take care of our temple right we make sure that we feed this fleshly body right well guess what else you need to feed my brother and my sister you need to feed your what your spirit man the Bible says in the word of God, come on, daddy, I really appreciate you, how you just show up and show out and how you just give me your word. Hallelujah. I thank you for this word today, Lord God. What? What does the word of God says? It says what? We profit what? Nothing in our flesh, but only in our spirit. That's what the word of God says. And so what I'm saying to you today my sisters and my brothers, my lovely kings and queens, my radical warriors for Christ, hallelujah, that you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. I'm saying to you today, in order to remove the spirit of death out of your life, you have to invite the spirit of life in. Hallelujah. You have to invite the spirit of life in. Not only once 
a day, but throughout the day. Hallelujah. You have to ask the Holy Spirit to consume you like on fire. You have to, you have to get up early in the morning and search and seek. And guess what? The Bible says what? If we what? If we ask, it will be given to us. If we seek, we will find. If we knock the door, come on now, the door will be open. The door of life is open to you today, my brother. The door of life is open to you today, my sister. You can no longer continue to do to continue doing the things the way that you've been doing them and and expect change. Change only takes place when you try something new. Change only takes place when you allow the Lord in. Change only takes place when you get radical about your situation. Are you desperate for change or are you going to settle for what you see around you? Are you going to settle for Lodibar? Are you going to settle for, for living that ungodly life? that ungodly lifestyle? Are you gonna settle for just a girlfriend or do you want a wife? Are you gonna settle for just having sex or do you wanna make love? Are you gonna settle? Are you gonna settle for just that apartment or do you want a home? What are you, what are, what are, what are you settling for? What, what is it? What's been holding you back? What's been keeping you from moving forward in that abundant life that the Lord has for you? He has things already set up, lined up for you. He is waiting on you. Our Father who art in heaven is waiting on on you the bible says what seek ye first the kingdom of god and all of his righteousness and everything else and everything else seek ye first the kingdom of god and all of his righteousness and everything else everything else will be added Everything else will be added. Our Father is waiting on you. Just like he was waiting on me. Look, the, the things I'm ministering to you all about, it, it, it ain't nothing that I ain't walked through. It ain't nothing that the Lord hasn't brung me up out of. You don't know my whole story. You don't know every detail about me and what I've walked through and what I've experienced and what I've endured. You, you have no idea the things that I encountered, the, the places that I put myself in, you know, to be in abusive relationships, to, to, to get locked up in order to get my wake up call. I had to sit up, I had to sit in a, in a jail cell for, for some hours to, to get my wake up call. Not just once, but twice experienced the jail cell. And yes, it was only a holding cell. Thank God I didn't actually have to do time like days in there. But just the hours I sat in there, I cried out to God. I cried out to God because I knew that there was more life for me than what I had settled for. That no man was worth me losing my life, losing my salvation over. Me going cuckoo and crazy over. Ham to the gnaw. And if it took for me to, to have the Holy Spirit, because that's what it was the second time when it happened to me, the Holy Spirit to handcuff me in front of my children and my three babies, when they was young at that time, and walk me down the sidewalk to a police car, not knowing if they was looking out the window watching me, to get in the back seat of a police car. Come on now and start crying out to God and have a police turn around and tell me why I was being arrested. Because at the time I didn't know why, but what it was, you know what? <laughs> you know what? The stupid mess that I had involved myself in by attaching myself 
to someone who didn't really care about me. And, and the mess that he was involved in with the women and, and this and that and this and that. And me going, fighting for him. For what? Why was I fighting for him? Because I believed, right? But God wanted me to do what? Not believe for that relationship. He wanted me to believe in he, the one who created me. He wanted me to believe enough that he had a better life for me and that I needed to get it together. So he arrested me had me put in that cell for hours to sit there to recognize that Kawana, if you don't stop running behind this man and what he doing with this woman and that woman, that you are gonna lose everything. Do you wanna lose your babies? Do you wanna lose your mind? Do you wanna live behind bars for the rest of your life because you went off and did something crazy? to somebody that don't even know who they are. It was in that moment, in that time, that God began to do a shift in me, you guys. A shift in me. Good God Almighty. When I say it, a shift in me that I knew that there was more to my life than what I had settled for. And God pulled me up out of that Mary Clay. He began to speak life over me. Y'all, my dog right here, uh, yeah, my stomach ain't, hang, ain't hanging like that in the name of Jesus. <laughs> but God began to, he began to speak life over me. Where everything seemed dead. He began to breathe life over me and give me hope again. And what y'all are looking at today is a miracle. What y'all looking at today is life changing. I share my testimony with you today because I want you to what? I want you to know that God has life for you and he has it more abundantly for you. What he started in you, guess what? He will bring to completion in your life. Don't let life choke, that, excuse me, don't let death choke out your life. No, you see, you see this purple hearts? Life is gonna come from here again. The, you, eventually you're gonna see beautiful purple hearts because I'm gonna make sure I take a picture of it again for you to see it. Life. God wants to give us what? Life. And life more abundantly. Don't settle for mediocre. Don't settle for less. You're looking at a woman that settled for less for a long time in her life. And God is just, he's, he was, he's now finally picking up the pieces and putting everything back together again and giving me hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. Don't chase after foolishness. Don't settle for just sex. Have God bless you with a husband that will give you, bless you, and make love to you. Okay, so that y'all can do kingdom work together. Do kingdom work together. God bring a man and a woman together for a purpose. For a purpose. It's beyond you and that person coming together doing a do, even though it's enjoyable. It's for you two to come together for his kingdom to do to to break down barriers to break down walls life takes place to give people hope in these neighborhoods to take back the cities to take back this nation for his glory that's what it's about the bible says the kingdom suffered violent but the violent take it back by force i'm a violent woman for god and I'm going to link up with a violent man of God. 
and we're going to do dynamic work together here on this earth. Look, you all be blessed, okay? You be encouraged. I love you all. Hallelujah. I love you all. And um, I'm believing the best for you. I need you to what? I need you to speak life out of your mouth and not death. I need you to surround yourself around life. I need you to be a life giver. Y'all have a blessed day. Look, subscribe to my channel. Share this video with someone that needs to hear it. That needs to be encouraged, okay? Somebody needs to be lifted up today. God bless you. Like it. Like the video as well. And I'll see you soon.